you know, we're having with globalization, people meeting each other, you know, across cultures, across continents for the first time. So we're getting genetic combinations that have never been possible in the history of humans. And that's creating some interesting both kind of resilience and then also disease because you have, you know, combinations of genetic variants that have never been in the same individual before um, that are now showing up together. I find this super interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'll turn 50 in September, and I remember a time not that long ago where it was very unusual, for instance, to see an interracial couple in a television show when I was growing up. Now that's changed, right? And I think that's reflective of a number of things. Yes, people are um, intermarrying and or producing children with people that uh, whose backgrounds, genetic backgrounds, are very different than their own. And if we take the opposite extreme, it makes perfect sense as to why this hybrid vigor thing would exist. And, and the opposite extreme is a very uncomfortable thing. But if you think about incest, incest has been discouraged in populations for a very long time. Without anyone understanding genetics, like the, the mechanisms of genetics per se, it's been well understood that in small villages that people shouldn't mate with their siblings, shouldn't mate with their cousins, shouldn't mate, and ideally not even with second cousins because of the potential for disease. So I've always been fascinated by the idea that nature punishes reproducing with people that are too close to you.